Hey everybody, and thanks for checking back with us for another episode of q with Uncle Wu. Today, it's Porterhouse Pork Chops. When we talked to the guys out of Compart Duroc Farms the other day, they sent us some sausages that you might have seen us make some awesome sandwiches out of, and they sent us Porterhouse Bone-In Pork Chops. These things have been dry aged, and now they've been brined for about three hours. So we're gonna get them on the smoker, turn them into some delicious dinner. Let's get started. So today, we pulled the pork chops out of the fridge. They come cryovac straight from Compart. We took them out of their wrapper and put them into a brine that consisted of a half a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of kosher salt, and a quarter cup of our Smoke Masters Premium Rub, just to carry our flavors through the brine straight onto the cook. They've been in the brine for about three hours. So we're gonna get them out, dry them off a little bit, and then start applying our rubs. Well, they don't have to be bone dry. We just wanna pat off any of that excess brine. Kind of keep that salt from sitting on the top there. You don't want that thing to be the first thing you bite into. And then we're ready to start applying our rugs. Now we're coming in with a new one today. It's gonna be our new steak and brisket rub. It'll be on the market here shortly. Almost out of the test phase with that. So we're gonna get a good layer, base layer of that down. And then we're gonna come back with our Smoke Masters Premium Rub. Gonna get those rubbed down. Gonna flip them over and do the same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna let, let them rest for a few minutes. And then we'll get them on the smoker. Because these are such a thick cut, we're also going to pick those up, get a little bit of rub on the outside edge. Okay, so those are ready to go. We're going to let that salt kind of get in there, sweat that meat a little bit, let the natural moistures and that brine moisture that we've got in there kind of absorb some of that rub. You can already see it starting to tack up a little bit on the top. We'll give that about 10, 15 minutes to set, and then we'll go on the smoker. We're running on the Smoky Mountain today. We'll be running at a temperature for about, of about 250 degrees for what's probably gonna be about an hour to an hour and a half. We wanna get an internal temperature of about 140 degrees, and then we'll pull them off, slice them up for dinner. Y'all stick with us, check it out. Okay, so we've been sitting for about 10 minutes. It's, the pork chops have sweat enough. Our rub seems to be well incorporated. So we're gonna go ahead and get them on the smoker. Today we're going to use one of our Thermalworks dots to tell us when it gets to about 140. Actually, we're going to back that down to about 135, so that way we are know ahead of time, so we can get them off and rest, and they'll recoup to that 140 where we want to finish them off at. Okay. 
So we've been on for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes, and our Thermaworks dot just let us know that we're 135. So we flipped them over. Now we're gonna put a little glaze on there. I've mixed up a little honey, brown sugar, bourbon glaze to go on these things just to set off that flavor right at the end. I'll be sure and put that uh, recipe for the glaze down in the description. Let's get these things glazed up. All right, we'll shut it back down, give that glaze a few minutes to set, and we'll be ready to slice these things up and see how we did. Stay with us. Okay, so we've let our glaze sit for a few minutes now. Let's get these things off and get them rested. Ooh, wee, those look pretty. We're gonna get these over to the cutting board, get them covered up, rest them for about 10 minutes, then we'll slice them up and see how we did. Okay, so we've been covered up, rested for about 15 minutes. Let's get these things out, slice them up, and see how we did. Oh wow, these chops are just absolutely beautiful. See how we turned out here. Oh yeah. Juicy, nice medium. Oh my gosh. The flavor in that dry aged chop. Just absolutely amazing. And that bourbon brown sugar glaze on top really sets off the meat. Hmm. Really got to try some of these dry aged chops from Compart Farms. Well, that's going to do it for us for tonight. Dinner's ready, so we're going to get inside and tear it up. Thanks for joining us again for another episode of q with Uncle Wu. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time we kick out a new video. We'll see y'all out there again cooking real soon. Stay safe and God bless.